house uh, and yeah. become so heavy. Mm-hmm. I want to share some shit with y'all. All truth, all truth. Uh, like I'm standing inside a tabernacle. I promise not to lie in not one of these verses. I started out as a battle rapper. All I knew was max sales, eight at stats, and gats. Uh, my name is Ryan Daniel Montgomery, recovering alcoholic. I grew up on Nine Mile. Uh, I'm not a gangster, drug dealer, a thug nigga, just an MC who made a name with his rhyme style. Now, sometime around '95, I found my calling, and that all coincides with the time that I found my darling. Now, later on in the story, I'll tell you her significance, but now let's talk about me specifically. Three brothers and one sister. See, my daddy taught me consistency with his fucking patterns. Hallelujah, I'm the son of an addict. My addiction was music. All I would do was go to the studio. In the shelter and listen to Red Man and Helter Skelter. Hey, y'all remember that one joint from the Helter Skelter album called Sean Price? Be like, I'm not sure any. Yeah, that was my shit. I used to bump that shit all day. By this time, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I didn't want to be anything else. You know, but my mom had plans for me. She wanted me to go to school. So, you know. Uh, to make moms happy, I took some general courses in college Took the bus until I got hella bored with that Because the bus stop I had to walk to Was right across from the first studio I ever recorded at Now I would have to assume that It was either meant for me to be rapping Or meant for me to be laughing at God's geographical humor As soon as I stepped foot in the open mic It was like a reunion I was a shoo I met Kino there too And he asked me to manage me And that was back in like, let me see 9-7, my girl was pregnant, hurdles was prevalent, and it was therapeutic just for me to breathe into my mic. Started learning why the Lord put certain people in my life, and the way he started blessing me. Uh, I guess before my inner demons got the best of me, like sneezing was my vice. Needless to say that December 29th was the day I became a believer in fate. Okay, now it's December 28th. My day is going great. Kino booked me a show under contract to do that night. I got a call from my girl's people saying she in labor in the hospital right now. Ninth floor, I get on the elevator. Elevator stops on the fifth floor, elevator opens up, my uncle's standing there crying. Now I'm caught off guard, I'm like, what the fuck? My uncle standing there like Ryan A that way I walk out, I see my mama and that entire side of my family Looking like it's some kind of drama happening I said, what happened? They like granny's been in a bad accident And it ain't looking good I'm like, man, what? I'm having a baby four flows up Before I froze up I'm trying to figure out why the Lord chose us or maybe chose me to ride in this emotional roller coaster. My mama said, the baby here yet? I said, maybe. She said, maybe, baby, go see. I walk away feeling like a good father the same time as a terrible son. Get to my girl, she five centimeters dilated, so I waited. She gotta get to about nine till it's that time. And meanwhile, I'm more popular in this hospital than a doctor. Nurses watching, whispering like, that's the one right there. Who got the lady in labor on nine and the other lady dying on five? By this time, I don't even fucking remember that I got a show. Somebody had to remind me. The doors is already open at the venue. I got emotions running every which way. All the nurses and stuff is like, we'll keep you posted about the baby. We'll keep you posted about your granny. I didn't like seeing my mama like that, so I had to get out of there. Yeah, I hit the stage at 11.50, killed it I got off at about midnight with about six types of different emotions Floating around inside me, hopeless, trying to find me Hoping in time, God will guide me in the future Just as I was about to leave out, I saw Kino talking to Marshall And then he introduced us We talked about collaborating and how chasing this rap thing is aggravating But I'll get back, I got the family waiting I get to skating As soon as I get to the hospital, they tell me that my granny didn't make it She just died, I'm feeling helpless it hurt me on the flip side my little boy is healthy in the nursery i picked him up looked in his eyes for the first time and just cried ain't no denying this is the power of god i said i love you granny and look to the sky like even though he just got here goodbye this is how the story goes powerful day powerful day most significant day of my life i mean this is how the story Aside from me, my man Marshall, my son being born, and my granny dying on the same day. My grandma didn't live anywhere near that hospital. I learned a lot this day. I learned that the universe has this way of balancing itself out. For me to lose such a beautiful soul in my granny, and gain such a beautiful soul with my firstborn son, Lil Royce, it showed me that God is real. 
God is real. And you know what they say. God giveth. God taketh away. God taketh away. God taketh away. God taketh away. God taketh away.